Well, Fred, we both share such affection yeah, for Javita yeah, Moore. Do. She's just a, yeah, gosh, do. I mean, it's really hard to encapsulate in our words um, what a wonderful person she is. And you all know her, Atlanta, as a kind person and a spectacular journalist. This one does. It, it hurts an awful lot. People often ask, what's Javita really like? She is as lovely a person as she was the consummate professional journalist. And today we mourn her passing and we fondly remember her. I'm Javita Moore. At Channel 2 Action News, we focus on stories that make a difference in your life. For more than 20 years, she made a difference in our lives. From the start, WSB TV viewers and Javita's colleagues recognized her talent, intelligence, and work ethic. There is a large crime scene at this hour. What happened to that new car? In East Point, Javita Moore, Channel 2 Action News. Javita was a native New Yorker who grew to love her adopted hometown of Atlanta. She also loved news from an early age and after college got an internship at the New York Times. But Javita was intrigued by broadcasting earning her master's in broadcast journalism from prestigious Columbia University. Her TV resume began in Fort Smith, Arkansas, then a stop to Memphis, Tennessee. And in 1998, she found a home in Atlanta at WSB-TV. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Javita Moore. In 2012, Javita moved to the main anchor desk. In a career spanning nearly 30 years, she's covered stories that impacted every Georgian and interviewed men and women who've made history. Do you see that as sort of an extension of your father's legacy? This is where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, which changed the course of the civil rights movement. From Washington to Egypt. People travel across the world here to Egypt to see the inside of King Tut's tomb. Javita went where there was a story to tell. She anchored dozens of primetime specials. The subjects were at times difficult and sometimes personal. I was diagnosed with fibroids two years ago. When I was Back in 2000, I did a series of reports about fibroids, including a surgical procedure I underwent called myomectomy. I decided to have the surgery after unsuccessfully getting pregnant. Javita was unafraid to tackle tough issues, even those that threatened to divide Atlanta. Will this spark new conversations within your police departments about race relations? Naturally, there were many special, very happy times on air as well. To witness the historic inauguration of President-elect Barack Obama. In many cases, our viewers felt like Javita was their friend or maybe a member of their family oh even. The and they loved hers. <laughs> Look at her. She's saying, Mom, Say what hi. are you doing <laughs> to me? <laughs> as her children grew, Javita devoted more time to community service, emceeing hundreds of events, volunteering often to help those in need. She gives of herself to our families. She comes on site. She volunteers with the family. She ensures that they know they matter. So last spring, when doctors discovered two tumors on her brain, Javita wanted to share the news in hopes it might help someone else. Well, I was really concerned about why all of a sudden I was forgetful and disoriented and um, just not feeling myself, you know, and feeling like I was in a fog. And when the difficult diagnosis was confirmed, Javita shared that with us as well. The messages of love and support began immediately and have not stopped. Let you know that the state of Georgia is with you. God bless. Our community never stopped supporting their beloved anchor and friend. We care about you. As a city of Atlanta, we just want you to know that we're here for you and that whatever you're going through, and your battle, we're also in that battle with you. Today, a tough day, and we remember our friend and colleague, Javita Moore. We have no doubt her spirit lives on through her loving family and friends, her passionate reporting, and her endless service to our community. Mm, Justin, you know, I watched that, and so many emotions go through the mind there. There's a part I saw where when she got her diagnosis and you were talking to her and you, you give her a hug and that hug seems to, to last a lifetime. Fred, I'm speechless today. Yeah. Um, we are. It doesn't, uh, it really is hard to comprehend. And we just, she's just a lovely person in, in addition to just being the professional. And uh, it, 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 we're hurting. There's going to be a hole. Um, 
and I would just say that what Javita would be saying to the two of us right now yeah. is, okay, okay, y'all. <laughs> she would, uh, she would, she would. So um, I'm going to try to remember that part of you, Joe. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it, there's only one Javita Moore. Right. Uh, right. We will love her forever and uh, we'll honor her uh, here in this building in, in many ways. And I would just humbly say on behalf of her to all of you, um, what a what a treat it was for her to be able to do this for a living. This was her dream city. This was her dream television station. And people like Fred and me were fortunate enough to befriend her. And so to you, Atlanta, thank you from her and from her family for y'all embracing her. It means a lot to her, I assure you. You are so right about that. And before we talked about it, we become family. She was family to you because she told you the stories and, and you turned her on to see her every night. But she felt like family to us. Yeah. And it's a tough day. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate you. Love you, kid. Love you, too. Thank you. We're hearing from so many of our political leaders today sharing their memories of Jovita Moore and their thoughts on her passing. And Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live at City Hall in downtown Atlanta. Richard, the mayor, says that she is saddened by the loss of her friend. Yeah, you know, this is a hard day for all of us. But like you and Justin said, she would want us to get on with it and get on to the story we're hearing from uh, political leaders from all the way from atlanta city hall to right across the street there at the state capitol all across the political spectrum everybody knew jovita jovita interviewed so many of them republicans and democrats first from atlanta mayor keisha lance bottoms who is in florida today uh, she issued a statement that said in part quote jovita was a wonderful mother, daughter, and dear friend to many, even those who did not know her personally, felt a deep and personal connection to Jovita. She loved Atlanta dearly. Uh, thoughts and prayers of her and her husband are, are, are with her family. From Senator John, Office, uh, John Ossoff, he said Jovita was a trailblazer, a great journalist, and an Atlanta icon. Her years of service informing the public of current events and holding the powerful to account are deeply appreciated. Just about 15 minutes ago, we got a statement from Governor Brian Kemp that said, in part, uh, he called her a Georgia icon, a world-class journalist, and she will live on in the hearts of everyone who welcomed her into their homes to inform them about the community and to keep them and their families safe. More uh, uh, accolades are coming in. We're going to gather them all up. We'll have more on Channel 2 Action News starting at 4. We're live in downtown Atlanta. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. Richard, thank you so much, my friend. You know, from our, our city leaders to people across the country, uh, Jovita's story had, had taken on a life of its own, and people just want to to share their thoughts right now. We appreciate you. Thank you. And from the moment we all learned of Jovita's battle in April, she knew how much all of you loved her and prayed for her and surrounded her with family and positivity and hope. She appreciated it all so much. Channel 2's Baron Peterson is live right now in Midtown Atlanta. Baron, people are, are sharing their thoughts with today's very sad news. Now, Fred, so many in this city considered Jovita a friend even if they never met her, she had that kind of impact on people. And this morning we spent some time around the Fox Theater in Midtown and met a man named Ryan Amos. And he was hit particularly hard by this. And he explained that, like so many of his generation, he grew up watching Joe Vita on Channel 2. I'm in my late 30s, so I grew up watching it even more. So when I heard that this morning, it, was, it, 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 took, a, it took something out of me. Because, it, you know, you grow up watching somebody on TV over and over in your entire life. Is, you get connected to that person. So just to see her, just just to hear that she passed and hear that you know, she had brain cancer, that's, that's a tough one to just deal with. I mean, she's, a, she's important to this city. So. Ryan wanted to pass along his very best wishes to Jovita's family. We're going to bring in the personal stories of many viewers today who wanted to share their feelings about Jovita. We're live in the town. Baron Peterson, Channel 2 Action News. You know, Baron, I think so many folks uh, will have his story. You know, they, they just felt like they knew her. Uh, they heard the stories. She was out in the community, and everybody felt that she was part of the family. Thank you very much, Baron. We followed Jovita's journey in her last public message in July, and she did not want people to be sad. Let's take a listen to, to hear her message for all of us. I just want to say a quick thank you. Thank you for your cards. Thank you for all the gifts. And most importantly, thank you for your prayers and your positive energy. I feel all of it. I'm home now. I'm up and about and doing everything my doctors tell me to do. 
So for now, I need to be here to focus on my health. I'm surrounded by family, a very small circle of friends, but also your extended love and support. Mm -hmm. This journey for me started with an unusual headache. Mm -hmm. So if something's not right with you, I urge you to please get yourself checked. Again, thanks for all the love, prayers, and support. Keep sending the prayers and positivity my way. Thank you. Portions of Channel 2 Action News are brought to you by Atlanta Toyota. 